Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika, welcome to Floating in Dreams. This is my hobby YouTube channel and on here I like to talk about things makeup and fashion related. Um, I only do a little bit of fashion related content, most of it is makeup related, and my favorite thing to chat about is eyeshadow. However, I also like some other makeup categories, so that's why today I have a lipstick video for you. And we're not just going to be talking about any kind of lipstick. We're talking red lipsticks, because that is my favorite lipstick shade ever on the planet. You give me a red lip and I'm happy. So that's why I thought we could chat about all of the red lipsticks in my collection, and I've got quite a few. So I'll be swatching them out for you on my hands and arms, but I will also be swatching some of them on my lips, namely my top 10 favorites. Those I would like to share with you so you can actually see what these look like on. Um, and yeah, that's what I've got in store for you today. So I hope you would like to uh, stay tuned for all that goodness. So let's get to these red lipsticks. And before we get into the lipsticks, I do want to announce that this is sort of like a mini series that I'm starting towards the end of the year. My plan is to come on here once a month and to take you through some of the different colors that I have in my lipstick collection. I kind of already tested the waters out because in July I did my favorite bright lipsticks for summer. So I'll make sure to put that in the description box down below. However, at the time I was having some back issues, so I didn't put any of those on my lips, unfortunately. Um, but today I was like... I'm gonna put these on my lips and I intend to do like bright lipsticks for fall. I wanna do vampy lips. I wanna do my favorite nude lipsticks, the whole nine yards. But today we're talking my true, true, ultimate favorite lipstick shade and that's red lipstick. And since I'm not sure what it's like in your country, but over here, we don't really have to wear masks anywhere anymore if we don't want to. So that's why the red lip is coming back in full force for me. So I thought I could start up, like really kick the, start this series with red lipsticks because it's just my favorite thing. I've got red lipsticks in different categories. So I've got everything laid out and I will be swatching my favorite red lipstick on my lips in each of those categories. There is one category where I have just more than I could put up, put on my lips, and that is in the classic red department. So when it comes to classic reds, those I'm gonna swatch actually most of on my lips because that's my favorite. However, let's start with the balmy and sheer numbers first. And when it comes to balmy and sheer red lipsticks, I've got six different offerings. Actually, two of these are glosses, and I, I'm just not a huge fan of shiny red lipstick. I'm just not. However, I have sort of gotten a new appreciation for like red glosses and like balmy kind of things. So let me swatch the first, uh, the glosses first. So I have one from Juvia's Place here and this is in the shade Ruby Rose. And this was actually really lovely. I have to say that even though I don't like something this vibrant and shiny per se, I thought this was very successful. These Juvia's Place lip glosses have a really nice formula too, so it's pretty taken with that. And then I have one of the Wet Cherry glosses from Lime Crime in the shade Flirty Cherry. And this has a little bit more sparkle through it. So where the Juvia's Place one is more of like, like a cream, this one from Lime Crime has some more sparkle to it. So if I do wanna use something as a topper, I would probably go for this one. And I have worn this one by itself. Something you should know though is that this Lime Crime one has a very strong like candy cherry kind of scent. So that has to be your cup of tea. And then for like balmy, shiny kind of lips, I've got a couple of options. I've got a Catrice one, which is the lip dresser Shine Stilo in I Carry a Watermelon. And this is like a, like the red that really is like the inside of a watermelon. And then I have HD Rhubarb from Revlon, which is one of my long-standing, like, balmy kind of favorites. I feel that both of these are quite similar, not in terms of, like, its shade, because I feel that the Catrice one is much brighter, but the Revlon one is more of, like, a true red, but both have this, like, very balmy sort of texture. Not my favorite when it comes to reds, because they kind of slip and slide around. Oh well. And then I have one of the Catrice Power Plumping Gel Lipsticks. This is in the shade The Future Is Fum, and this is like a nice reddish tone as well. Again, that watermelon, pinky, red kind of shade that I do enjoy. Like, if I want to go for something balmy, 
I tend to go for something that's a little bit more fruit colored almost so that it looks like you've just eaten like a, a piece of watermelon or like a very nice popsicle or something then I do like these kind of shades but other than that I, I'm not a huge fan and the one I want to swatch on my lips is uh, Crush from Glossier and this is a very sort of weird like texture because this is very sheer however and this is why I'm putting this one on first I feel that this needs a lip balm underneath it for it to work so let me show you this So this is what Crush from Glossier looks like. Like I mentioned, I feel this needs a lip gloss or a lip balm underneath it, something creamy, to really make sure that the color catches on. But still, it sort of works quite well when you do put this on, because it doesn't give a whole lot of color. Uh, what are these called again? Uh, the Generation G lipsticks. These have a sheer formula. They're supposed to be this like no makeup kind of thing. But this is like the kind of red that you can wear if you want to wear red, but you don't want it to be too much in your face. If you know what I mean. Sometimes, you know, if you don't want to go for like a full on red like this, we'll swatch that in a, we'll swatch that one last. Because if I'm going to swatch a liquid lipstick in the middle of this, it won't, it won't go down very well, especially if it's a red. Uh, but if you don't want something too full on, then this is a really nice one. And I think any of these that I've just shown you are really nice if you do want that comfort, if you're not into matte lipsticks, but you just want something very wearable. So that's why this is my favorite of that bunch. Next category I'd like to share with you are my neutral reds. So we just talked about balmy reds that are a bit more sheer, but I feel that there is a like almost like a new category in my personal red lipstick collection where there are now some neutrals on the market that do have like a reddish tone to them. So this is again a very safe option if you want to wear reds but you don't want them to be too bright and in your face. If you want something just that has a hint of red to it then these can be really nice. There's again one here that is my ultimate favorite that I would highly recommend if you can still get it um, and that's the one I'll put on my face for you but I've got some more offerings. I think that one of the new Catrice Vegan Collagen Mattes in 090 Be Elegant is a really nice candidate for this. So this has, it's very nude, but then it does have a little bit of that red running through it. So this is a very good um, example, I think. The first brand I really saw this do was MAC. I have one of their Powder Kiss lipsticks in the shade Stay Curious. And this was like the first time where I really felt like, yes, this is even more neutral than the one from Catrice I just showed you. It's just, it's like a peachy nude, but then it has this hint of red running through it, making it super wearable. And another oldie but a goodie for me is the KVD Beauty uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Double Dare. This is quite a brown uh, liquid lipstick, so a brown toned nude, but again, with that hint of red that is running through it. So that's why I always really like that one. And then I have another Catrice one here. They came out with some new Clean ID lipsticks. These are the Silk Intense, and this is in the shade Wild Cherry. And this again, this is a perhaps a bit more berry leaning, but I feel it kind of goes with uh, what these other lipsticks have going on as well. And this does have a little bit more shine running through it. It's right there. However, if you want to wear, if you want to go for a wearable red, I would advise you look into K-Beauty brands because I have found that both 3CE as well as Peripera do some really lovely like nudish toned reds you could say. Um, so this is the um, 3CE shade in Mellow Flower and this is so so lovely on the lips. It's really really pretty. Let me see where I can put it. So there you have Mellow Flower. And then the one I am holding up from uh, Peri, Peri, Peri Para is their Ink Airy Stick in Warmy Red. And this is perhaps more red toned than most of these, but it's still quite neutral, which I really like. Can you guess my favorite? Because if there is a brand I have really fallen in love with in recent years when it comes to lipsticks, it's Lisa Eldridge. And Lisa Eldridge just does some lovely, lovely lipsticks. 
and she launched or extended some more shades finally in her luxuriously lucent line this last spring and she came out with a shade called painterly and this i mean look at how dark it looks in the tube but then when you put it on it just is a really nice like brownish reddish shade and on me it looks like that neutral red that I was talking about that I like so much this goes with so many different looks and I'll show you what this one looks like on my lips so there we have painterly and what I like so much about these particular lipsticks I have three of these is that they build up really nicely so you can use these as more of like a stain almost like there's barely any color there but if you really build it up like I've done right now you get a lot more color payoff and even though these are balmy and a little bit more like uh, comfortable on the lips they do have really good staying power so I feel that this is like the kind of lipstick that just gives you the best of both worlds so we have all the balmy things right here and then we have the neutrally reds right there because my next category are pink toned reds and some of these skew perhaps a little bit more pink than they do red but in my brain they still work as reds I have a favorite here but as you can see I only have four because I feel that a lot of brands either do pinks or reds but they don't really do these in between -y kind of shades I think one of the best examples is relentlessly red from MAC this looks like a hot pink in the bullet I know but then when you put it on your lips it's just a it's like a neon red that's how I would describe this. It has a lot of pink running through it, but it definitely skews more reddish toned when I personally wear it, I feel. And I really like Relentlessly Red. It's a really nice bright shade for like the spring summer season. And I also have some more affordable options here. I have the Maybelline 687 Matte Lipstick in All Fired Up. And I feel that this is like Relentlessly Red, but then even better. This is a bit more pink though. But I've always really liked this, again, for that very vibrant, like, if you just want something that's really juicy and very nice and bright on the lips. And then sometimes you also have some reds that have quite a bit of pink running through them, pulling a bit more coral. And I feel that that's the case for Super Bloom by Colourpop. I believe this shade was discontinued, but again, this to me fits into that similar vein as the ones I just showed you. Um, do you just see how similar these three are? They're so similar. However, one of them is a bit more like neon. The other one is even a little bit more like, I think the Maybelline one has the most white running through it. And this is definitely more of that like corally red shade. Really nice, super vibrant. And I really like them. And when I wear them, I still feel they pull red on me. However, my favorite pink toned red is 69 from Urban Decay. This is from their Vice line. And I repurchased this because I had this in their Revolution line, I think it was called. And it got old and I was like, I was really missing this shade. And to me, this is like a true like strawberry red. Like this really nice like fruity red as well. Uh, and this is also a cream formula. And then you can just see that compared to the other three, this is a lot more reddish toned. But it does have a lot of pink running through it. So this is the one I want to show you on my lips. And that is what 69 looks like, looks like from the Urban Decay Vice line. The Urban Decay Vice lipstick line has just been revamped and they are now fully vegan. So I don't believe this shade exists anymore. I'm terribly sorry. Could be that I show you some discontinued things in here uh, because I, I've been buying lipstick for years. So <laughs> it can happen. But yeah, this is one I think I bought it like about a year ago because I was missing the shade so much from my collection because I feel it does something differently. It's still red. It still works really well as a red lipstick on me, but it's definitely different from some of those nudie tones I just showed you and some of the more orange toned vampy lipsticks and classic reds I still have to show you. Next up, orange toned reds. So as you can see, I've got a, quite a few of these because a lot of brands within different price points do orange toned reds. I think it's a shade you don't have to splurge on. However, I am a bit of a bougie person when it comes to my lipsticks, okay? I just tend to prefer more high-end lipsticks because I feel they are more comfortable, have better staying power, and they just don't expire as quickly. 
Um, and actually within my orange toned red, like my orange toned reds, I've got two sort of kinds. I've got the orange toned ones that I would wear more so in the fall winter season that have a lot more brown running through them or yellow even, and then I have the very vibrant ones that I like in the spring-summer season. So let me show you those ones first, the spring-summer ones, because those I, I already showed a couple of those in my uh, summer lipstick uh, video. And I think the ones I already showed you kind of are these six. Um, these are all very bright orange-toned reds. Um, one that I know for sure I showed you in that video is by Zara. This is UM Ultimate 16. And these have a really strong vanilla scent, which I don't love, but I mean, do you see that shade? I just love it. So Zara do some really good lip lipsticks and I believe all they've done now they've relaunched their makeup line is repackage these. Um, I think the shade is actually still available. Then an OG Max Lady Danger. <laughs> I was actually talking about this in, an, in a different video the other day. This is even more orange, in case you're wondering. However, it's not a true, true orange because Morange by MAC is actually like a true, true orange. So I feel that this has still enough red running through it for it to really work. I also have another K-Beauty product here. This is the Peripera Ink Velvet in the shade Girlish Red. And this is also quite an orange toned one. And even though this is a liquid lipstick, it's still very, let's say, um, very wearable, very comfortable on the lips. Uh, I have found that K-Beauty brands do some really, really good lipstick shades actually. So that's why I do also want to put that in here. And I'm pretty sure I also showed you Velvet Morning by Lisa Eldridge. This is one of her true velvets. So this is her matte range. And I didn't buy this one initially because I was like, I already have so many orange toned reds. And then I look at these four, I'm like, yeah, these are pretty much identical. <laughs> Did I really need all of these? But yeah, since I like the True Velvets from Lisa Eldridge so much, I did decide to buy it in the end. Um, and then two that I don't really talk about a lot, but H&M Beauty does some really nice lipsticks too. And I bought a Blaze, which is another one like, that's a bit more creamy. And I wasn't sure whether this might be too orange, but I think it's actually, yeah, it's pretty close, but I think it's more orange than the other ones. And then another great one that's also a creamy texture, but again, I'm not sure still available because By Beauty also redid their lipstick line, but this is KN. So uh, if you're looking for a good uh, bright orange toned red and you want it to be creamy and very comfortable, then try By Beauty because they do some really lovely lipsticks. But I haven't tried any of the new ones they've done so far. I haven't. And then we have Lisa Eldridge Velvet Dragon, which is a very sort of brown toned, orangey toned red. You can just see how it's different from anything else I've got going on here. Uh, so that's one. that one is more unique, which is why I did buy that one a little bit more quickly than I did Velvet Morning. But my ultimate favorite when it comes to an orange toned red that is perfect for fall time, Max Chili. It's more of a brown tone, I have to say, but I think it goes pretty well with this actually. Yeah. See, if you look at Chili and Velvet Dragon, they're pretty close, but this has more brown running through it and this is perfect for the fall time. It's like that really nice turning leaves kind of color. That's what it really reminds me of. And there you have Max Chili. So that is one that I also really like. And I thought it would be nice to show you some lipstick shades that I would wear in terms of reds like this season, like fall, winter season. This is such a great red. I need to bust this out again. <laughs> the next category before we move into classic reds are vampy reds. And I don't have that many vampy reds because I find that very often brands, when they do deeper shades, they put in quite a bit of plum and they pull very berry on me because I have a natural like plummy undertone to my lips. So that berryness kind of like shines through really easily. So I struggle finding good deep dark reds, which is why when I went to the Buy Beauty Lip Lab when I was in New York, I made one myself. And this shade therefore doesn't have a name. 
you can buy this. I, I can give you the formula if you ever find yourself in a Bite Beauty lip lab, you could make it. But this is a really nice, like, dark, vampy red shade. Let me swatch it right there. Um, it's still, like, a, it's got a bit of vibrancy running through it. It's not too, too deep. And one that I have found, but that's sadly been discontinued, uh, that I feel is very similar, is the Catrice Demi Matte in Redefine Love. So if you can still find this, then um, you may want to try it because I feel that these two shades uh, are pretty much identical. I think the Catrice one is perhaps a little bit deeper, but I did feel that it was very sort of apt, you could say. And then uh, very recently, so I haven't worn this one much yet, but I bought myself a new Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Magic Red, and this is why I bought it, because it's a nice dark red that isn't a berry. So let me see if I can put it here, right here. So as you can see, I think that's even closer to my Bite Beauty lipstick. I'm not sure because it comes in this red tube whether this was limited edition or not. I don't know what Charlotte is doing with her line at the moment, but I believe it was a special shade or something like that. And then finally, I have Gash from Urban Decay. And this is also a darker vampy shade, and I like this because it's like a blood red. Like it really has that sort of shade running through it. Let me put it right here. Um, but again, because it's a cream and quite dark, uh, I don't wear it that often, and you can already see here that it's actually got quite a bit of purple running through it, which is why it pulls more berry on me and not like a true, true red. Which is why the one I want to put on my lips for you is Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Jazz, because I think when it comes to a very deep, dark, vampy red shade, this is the, this is the one this is the one for sure it's right there but this is just a really nice vampy dark red shade that is just it's stunning on the lips let me show you there you have it that would be velvet jazz on my lips as you can see deep dark vampy it's like a classic red but then amped up a no notch and just made so much vampier, so much more intense, and that's what I really like. And then the final category would be classic reds, and I've got like, what, 10 of these? No, nine, there's nine. And five of these I wanna swatch out for you on my lips so you can see the difference, because even within the blue-toned classic smack in the middle neutral-toned reds, we have lots of options, and I think that a lot of brands actually do these, from very affordable to more high-end, these are my picks. These are the ones that I have that I like, um, but I have five very firm favorites, and these have been long-standing favorites. So in case you haven't watched my channel for a while, these may be guesses that you've already made, but let me also tell you about the four that I don't show that often. And one of them is a liquid lipstick. This is by Maybelline. This is their Superstay Ink, Matte Ink, in the shade Pioneer. And this is one of the very few liquid lipsticks I've actually kept around. There you have Pioneer. And this is a lovely, like, more classic red, but I do feel that it, it just isn't my favorite liquid lipstick. There is one that I prefer a lot more. But because this has such great staying power, if I want a red that's going to stay put all day, this doesn't budge. I remember wearing this to work one day and then had a dinner afterwards with colleagues and it stayed put for like 15 hours and it was great. Another classic is 714 from Urban Decay. This is a Vice lipstick that comes in a matte shade and this is Gwen Stefani's Red. Um, that's the way it was marketed at the time and it is a more, again, classic toned red but I do feel it leans perhaps a little bit more orange than I wouldn't want my classic red to be, however, I do, I do still really like it and I, I just, I struggle breaking up my Vice lipstick range, you could say, so that's why that one is still here. And then I did a full face of Nabla this year, so I bought a lipstick for that video and I found out they do matte lipsticks. This is in the shade Masterpiece and this was okay. It was a bit drying, so it's not my favorite, but it's a really good classic red it's right here and then finally it doesn't get more bougie than this because i did also buy myself 
a Dior lipstick when I did a full face of Dior. Uh, this is their shade 999, which is their classic red. It's again a little bit more orange toned leaning. I like my reds to be a bit more blue toned for a classic red. Um, but this also has that velvety texture and this actually comes in pretty special packaging because if I were to ever run out of this, I can just replace the lipstick inside it and I can keep the packaging because these are now recyclable. And you can see that none of these reds are true, true classic blue toned reds, I feel. So now we have my five favorite blue toned reds left and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna start off with Catrice's Ultimate Matte 030 in the shade, what's it called again? Rouge La La. This is the best drugstore classic red that has ever come into existence. And it's been discontinued like a long time ago. I believe actually that some of these Ultimate Mattes can sometimes still be purchased online, I found out. So let me swatch this guy over here. And this, this is just stunning. Oops smudging something else here. <laughs> I'm covered in red lipstick, you guys. So let me show you this on my lips. So that would be Rouge La La from Catrice. This is such a lovely classic red. It's a very comfortable matte finish, I find. That's one thing I really liked about the Ultimate Mattes. But I did only, I think it, I kept only two shades in the end because I felt those were unique enough to my collection. I feel I had all the other shades in like from other brands in better formulas, but this is such a good shade. It is that smack in the middle kind of like blue tone red. It's got a little bit more vibrancy to it and it's just so, so incredibly stunning. Another OG favorite, MAC Russian Red. This has been one of my all-time favorite reds for, well, years, 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 years. This is incredibly beat up. It looks very gross, so I'm not going to show it too close up to you. But if I swatch it right here, that would be Russian Red. It's a little deeper than Max, uh, what's it called? Ruby Woo. I never tried that. It is a uh, different formula to this. This is their regular matte formula. And I feel that this matte formula from MAC is a little bit more comfortable on the lips than the one that the Ruby Woo comes in. I believe it's their, um, what's it called? It's this other matte range that they do that's quite drying, but this isn't. So that would be Russian Red by MAC. This is stunning. I still love it till this day. It's getting a little old, I'm not gonna lie, but I still love this. It's so, so perfect. And this on me, like especially with the kind of makeup I'm wearing today, I'm wearing a very sort of like cool toned, smoky eye, and then a red lip, and I'm good to go. Like it doesn't get any more classic than this. Another OG, <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in Red Carpet Red. I remember when I bought this, I put this on my face in store and the MUA was like, I don't want to take it off you because it looks so perfect on you. It is, I think, a little um, more vibrant and Russian red, but it's still a really good classic red. So let me show you this. So this would be what red carpet red looks like on me. My lips are becoming a huge mess, so I hope it doesn't, sm like the lip line is nowhere to be found anymore. But yeah, red carpet red is just, is it the most perfect red I own? It might be. Russian red and red carpet red are like my two picks for like most perfect reds ever. However, I do have to say that my next one that I will be swatching is perhaps even a little bit more perfect. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely, lovely lipstick again. I, I just, I feel great in this. Uh, these lipsticks also have a really good formula. The bullet is really easy to use. That's something that I really appreciate about the Matte Revolution lipsticks because they have the squared of bullet. It's really easy to apply as well, which with a red lipstick, bonus points. And then we have Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Ribbon. And I'm saying that this might be my new favorite. And not just because it's Lisa Eldridge, but because this, I believe the closest thing in existence is Max Ruby Woo, but then in the True Velvet um, formula, which I think is far more comfortable than that MAC one. This has a lot more blue to it. It's very vibrant, but it's so stunning. Let me show you.
That would be Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Ribbon. And you just see how vibrant this is. That's one of the things I love so much about this lipstick, is that if I want to go for something very blue-toned and almost... Well, it's not like a neon red, not quite, but it is more vibrant than many of the other ones that I've got going on here, especially in this like classic range. It is very blue tone, very vibrant, and I just love it for that. It's that true like pillar box red. And then last but not least, we're going in with liquid lipstick. I saved this for last because it is a liquid lipstick, because it's going to be a nightmare to take off. But this is Ofra's Atlantic City, and where the Maybelline one in Pioneer is the most long lasting, I feel that this is the best liquid lipstick I've ever tried in a red because it's got the perfect shade, it's got everything that I need from a lips, li liquid lipstick because it is more comfortable than the Maybelline. Even though the Maybelline is longer lasting, I feel I can still get a full day of wear out of this without having to touch it up and bonus points for it not like rubbing off in a weird way. It has a really good fade on it as well, so that's why I did want to show you this as well and it is a really good classic red. Uh, let me see. Let me put it here. That way you can see it uh, together with the other ones. It, it's again, it's I think more like Russian red re than anything else really. Um, but it's got a really lovely formula and Ofra liquid lipsticks are some of the best. Mine is a little old as you can tell from the packaging but it still works just fine. And there you have Ofra's Atlantic City. This is my favorite choice for bringing with me when I travel because it is so long lasting. And I feel because it does last for like a meal and because I can just make it work quite well and just because it wears down quite nicely too. I can just put this on in the morning, go out for the day, go to museums, have food, do all that jazz. And then by the time I get back to my hotel, I. Uh, it, that's when it dies. So that's it. There you have it. Those are all of my red lipsticks and I counted them There's 38 of them here in total, maybe 39 close to 40. I'm pretty sure um, And I do declutter like my lipstick collection quite regularly But red lipstick I just struggle to get rid of because I just I just love them so much And I feel so great when I wear a red lip that I just really like to have options, even though, you know, if I look at some of these swatches, I'm like, yeah, I could definitely do without a few of these because some of these I'm like, oh yeah, do I love that formula more than another? I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I hope it was uh, helpful for you to see all of these swatches and to give my review of my entire red lipstick collection. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week, so I hope to see you in my next video. Stay tuned for that, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye!